Welcome everybody, I'm Dan. And this is Sarah. And today we're bringing you a video on our experience with the Eclipse. Uh, we actually had two different cameras going. Uh, one is mine and one was hers. And we decided to uh, put it together in this video to show you guys what we saw during the totality of the Eclipse itself. Um, I'm going to let Summer explain to you guys how her experience was and then I'll explain mine. So you'll see with the camera that I actually had it didn't actually pick up the darkness like Dan's did but I got a really weird feeling got really dizzy and off balance and cold. Yeah it was definitely very much colder <laughs> Um, once I sat down though my right ear started hurting really bad and you got a headache too didn't you yeah I had a headache that lasted about a day and there was this weird mist or fog that you could see especially at the totality mark it was very prevalent um, it, was, but it was instant it was definitely an experience um, I know too that if you pan to the horizon uh, you could actually see the light which was kind of neat like a sunset type of view um, one thing I thought was interesting too um, it didn't really seem to affect the animals like I thought it would we kept hearing the frogs and the birds and everything which I figured that during the eclipse they would become more still, but... Well, then we also had all those bugs that kept flying up towards the camera lens. Yes, the butterflies and there was birds that were dive-bombing the road almost. Tell them about your friends experiencing... Um, yes, was speaking with other people too. Um, I'm not the only one that actually had the headaches um, from, the eclipse. from the eclipse, yes. Um, so the they had the headaches that one of my friends actually had a headache several days after, after the eclipse and everything. Um, there was another female that had headaches and was very dizzy during the eclipse as well and it does seem strange because a lot of my friends uh, that experienced the eclipse the only ones that I have heard that actually you know got the headaches were females which I thought was definitely weird absolutely well my experience was pretty much exactly the same as hers except I was standing um, for the most part I had set the camera on a tripod, which it was a brand new camera to me and I didn't quite realize it wasn't fully in focus, so it's a little blurry in spots. Um, I had to narrow the, the videos down for purposes to be able to put it on here and not bore very many people. Uh, when it started to get dark, as she was saying, she started to feel the effects uh, she asked me if I was feeling it, and my legs were actually starting to feel heavier than they usually do, which made me feel like gravity was starting to get a little heavier to me. Um, we ended up having to sit down. She was definitely not feeling well from it. Um, we ended up, like she said, seeing this type of fog or haze, and it was strange because when we go through the video and we watch it, you can literally see it's almost instant. It's not just a creep in kind of thing. It was once it's dark and you can still see, you, you could definitely see this fog or mist or whatever you would like to call it. It was extremely strange and experience I had never felt before. But like I was saying, my friends, uh, the guys that I knew didn't really get headaches or anything, but um, her female friends they all seem to have gotten some type of headache from it, which, like she said, would last for a couple of days after even. But 
We definitely enjoyed making the video. We had fun. We were pretty much out in the middle of nowhere, as you can see. Uh, there's a few times we pan around. And... I know, too, that it messed with my eyes a lot. And I guess that's part of the spectrum that is blocked by the eclipse that it really seems to mess with you. And definitely being out there in the middle of nowhere where everything was completely open, it messed with your eyes so much that it almost felt like a dream kind of feeling or right. fuzziness. Even when trying to remember it, it still felt more like a dream than a reality. Right. And the other thing that you'll notice too with your camera, it showed the actual darkness. Yeah. And with mine, you really couldn't tell the <laughs> Much well, of the darkness. At least not until you started to move the camera around. Then you could see the darkness right. from it. But so it's definitely <laughs> something to keep in the books of a fun time <laughs> and experience to have had. It was definitely a one-of-a-kind of experience. Um, so we hope you guys enjoy this video. We hope we took up enough time on here um, with the app that I'm using to edit everything. It doesn't allow me to do a voice over, so I had to pre-record this and then add it to the video. So we hope it fits, and we hope you all enjoy. And one more thing, if it seems fuzzy on her video, Keep in mind, the camera had autofocus and instant light. That's why it didn't pick up much darkness. I also wanted to let you all know, we didn't aim the cameras anywhere near the actual sun because I didn't want it to mess up the actual lenses. So it is 14.59. Still... About the same distance from the truck so you can see it's definitely darker a lot colder and here we go I can feel it oh my gosh no <laughs> such a weirdness Wow. Can you see the darkness? Burr. <laughs> you getting cold? Yes. <laughs> see, I still feel the warmth. Really? Yes. No. <laughs> I don't get cold easy. Oh, I know. So, it's 15.01 now. <laughs> there goes the sun. <laughs> there goes the sun. <laughs> wow. Oh, goodness. So beautiful. That is amazing out here. Oh my gosh. It looks so weird. <laughs> mm, time check. 1502. Wow, that is just so weird. <sighs> and it's almost like it can feel it like inching its way, you know, like. Oh my yeah. gosh. Oh, it's so creepy. <laughs> I 
I don't know if the camera's really picking it up because it still looks bright on here, but it is not. And now the camera's in the red. Wow. This is amazing. And so creepy at the same time. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, if you look that way, you can actually see it's almost like a sunset. I'm going to pan that way. Seriously, dark. Yeah, wow. Fifteen oh three, and I think you all can see it on the truck. Welcome to the <laughs> solar eclipse. <laughs> Woohoo! What's crazy is the battery is seriously almost about to die, and now I've got two bars again. Nice. Wow, this is so neat. Fuzzy. It is. It, there's a weird. That's what I was. was no, was. no. It's. I. I can't describe it. It's a weird, hazy, misty fog feeling. It definitely attacks the eyes. Yes. You might want to close your eyes. Mm. Definitely keep your eyes closed for now. I don't know. It just feels like it's going to do something. Like Right. Just keep the cameras recording, keep the eyes closed. This is amazing. So fifteen oh four. You can still hear the birds and the frogs though, which is interesting because I thought maybe it would have an effect on them where they would like stop or something, you know, like mm -hmm. everything would yeah. be quiet. Buzziness is still around. Yeah. It's all around. Yep. Slowly. Phew. <coughs> it's so dark. I can't really tell it because the light there, but it is still quite dark. Hmm. I've got it on the night vision. I'm aimed up that way. Uh -huh. That big circle right there. Yeah. It shows that there's something there. <coughs> really? Yeah. Hmm. I've got it recording, but yeah, it definitely looks like there's something in the clouds. Here comes the sun. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> no, that was wild. And <laughs> <laughs> we got it all over. <laughs> now we do. It's wow. It's no. 